this government inherited a deficit bigger than Spain's, bigger even than Greece's. Now, this has meant taking decisions that no other government had dreamt of taking before. Today was always going to be a difficult day. There would have been, whatever decision was made, people feeling that their presence and their significance in the church was in some sense put into question. If you didn't know me then, you know me now, or you're beginning to know me. So I really mean it when I say in my ad, if you think you know me, you don't. <laughs> How big a role do you think students have played in the London 2012 Games? Obviously they've been volunteering, they've, they've been, been games makers. They've done a wonderful job for us. I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of students from all over London, all over Britain have taken part. I thought we should have been more than one up at half time. We weren't taking our chances, but I thought we were pretty good as it goes. I thought Fernandinho was outstanding and Silva. I thought we were really good. First day of the British Universities and Colleges Sport Championship held here behind me at this fantastic venue, the Olympic Stadium, in what is a pre curtain raiser to the Olympic Games, which begin later this summer. I'm Stuart Appleby, and you're watching Leicester Square TV. It's the UK premiere of the Klitschko's here behind me, and we went backstage to catch up with the stars. Natalie, I'm Stuart from Leicester Square TV. Pleasure to meet you. Vladimir, from Stuart from Leicester Square TV. Pleasure to meet you. Do you live in London now? Or are you... um, I seem to live on aeroplanes, actually. I've sort of <laughs> travelled in the world. So, um, this morning I was in Warsaw, and, um, uh, and tonight I'll be in New York, so I seem to uh, travel and travel. Ice Age is back with a bang. It's another adventure for the gang. And here at the gala screening of Ice Age Continental Drift, we caught up with the stars on the red carpet. So Katie, nice to meet you. How are you first of all? I'm good, I've got my cup of tea. And just a couple more final points, Sir David, because I appreciate you've done a lot of interviews today. But looking at the general trends of, of what we could find in the results, what are you expecting? Is, is it difficult to look ahead? Um, well, they're much more expert people than me who will do that. Yeah. But I didn't get into tennis until I was 40. I bought a house and it had a tennis court attached. So I started playing. And for the first five years, played terribly. I made all the same mistakes that people make who haven't ever had coaching and didn't play as a kid. You know, just jab at the ball and try and push it over. Didn't ever follow through.